What is going on, my YouTube friends, all my Patreon friends? How are we all living today? We're jumping into something that I I will say is brand new for me. I will say, because the only time I've seen Buckethead was in a Guns N' Roses video when I was in high school and I was obsessed with Guns N' Roses. Um, and they were, like, that was when Buckethead played with Guns N' Roses. So he was there for, a, like, a while, right? Would have been early in that time. And... I just, I wasn't ready for Slash to be gone. I wasn't ready for Guns N' Roses to be broken up. I wasn't ready for them to be old, any of it, right? So I just, I never pursued Buckethead. I never understood, I never understood the artist behind Buckethead. So my friend Jeff came into my chat the other day in a Twitch stream um, and said that I should check him out. He said that this is the most emotional guitar playing like there is. <laughs> and I've been working with my fry, my friend Fry McDunstan um, on his new EP, man. And Buddy is a, like, Fry is a wild guitar player. So like I've, been, I've really grown an appreciation for the emotion behind guitar playing. So I think this is going to be a good time to do this. So Jeff, I appreciate this. If uh, if I got some new friends coming to check me out, I, I have a background in live production. I was a sound technician for a long time. Um, so I usually do the live stuff, but I'm just kind of here for, for the ride for this one, man. I am a guitar player. Good guitars all over the place. I've been a guitar player for a long time, been a singer, but like I do I identify as a sound technician. Um, so this is, if this is your first time checking me out, I'd appreciate a little love, a little comment love, maybe a thumbs up. If you have any requests you want to send me, buck ahead or anyone else, I got a Patreon link you can hit me up on. Uh, Discord link, all this stuff, come hang out, come hang out, man. So I also couldn't find like an official one from the Buckethead channel. And so I do, I do really apologize for that. I always, I really try to find the artist original. So if, if I missed it, I apologize and I'll try to grab a, a link. Um, let me know down below because I'll watch it. I'll give them the stream too, man. Like, let me know. I like that. I think that this this section changed. Like, there's something that makes it prominent. So, the, in this one, it was the snare drum, bah, the big reverb, right? But the pocket that the the drum kit and the bass are sitting in are really, really nice, man. The delay is cool. The delay is really cool. It's like a really quick, like a slapback or something. Probably the stereo. I don't really understand all the guitar processing stuff, man. But it's cool. It's it's got like a, 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 an attack and a release point, or like a, a, a gauge of attack, I guess. So it seems like if he plays gentle enough, it almost doesn't do the delay. And it's probably like hit and miss. It's probably different every single time. But it's interesting, man. It's really interesting. So that one, like, again, like if that's a transition um, spot and if they use the reverb again, reverb will also push something further away. Like it seems like it's further away in the room and then you get this carryover, right? And it kind of takes away that, like I said, that like gauge of attack or like it takes away the like, it makes it more like a, like a gentle. And if you get far enough away, you can't really tell where the impact happens. It's just kind of like ambience, right? And it seems like I'm getting like hot in here, man. This is cool. This is really cool. 
present. Gone, right? New section. So it seems like the section changes with different like placements of this reverb. It's interesting. Be on a classical guitar, right? Is this on a classical? So he's, I did, I did a recording of a classical guitar, man. It's it's crazy the like amount of effort that can go into that and the like hand movement. So it sounds like he builds the chord down low and almost like a percussive percussive rhythm, and he finishes the chord. He could play on top of it. So as the ba doom ba doom ba doom is carrying over, he's like playing other stuff to build on that chord. And so like if he's if if my delay theory is is correct. He hits it really hard at the beginning and gets lighter as he moves along, along, so the feedback of the delay is less, and they're kind of wrapping up at the same point. Like, what a trip, man. I might be overthinking a little bit, but what a trip. Like it's just, I really don't know how to describe it. Like this is such a cool feeling. And it's not quite like what I get from like listening to classical music. It's different than that. Like I feel like I can see the like nature film in my, <laughs> in my head. Like I feel like I can see the winding roads I'm like driving down or something. Like, I don't know, man, this is really neat. This is really, really, really neat. The guitar playing, man, I gotta talk about it a little bit more. The guitar playing, it gives me like almost like a Rhodes vibe or like something with like a like a Leslie or something that has like a round to it. Kind of like, I don't know, man, it's cool. He's building really cool like layers and pads for himself to kind of like sit on top of. dissonance part there like I don't know man it's like a total like mood shift just for a moment like a moment of like contrast I guess we're kind of wrapping up towards the end so that might be like a, a tease or like something to kind of signal for the wrap around because the like, cadences can start anywhere man especially when you get these like free-spirited musicians and stuff like cadences outro cadences can start anywhere I don't know what buttons I was pressing <laughs> I feel like I feel like I'm like sick.
Very cool, man. I really like that. So that must be like a classical or an acoustic or something, right? That's what he's holding here. Because again, like this is how asleep I am. I've only ever seen him. I've only ever seen him play like a Les Paul, but that was that was in the Guns N' Roses thing, right? So y'all got me really interested, man. Y'all got me intrigued. I would like to see something like that. I would like to see him play something like that. I would like to see some live stuff, man. Let's, let's do this. Someone toss me a live link. Jeff, buddy. I don't want to say you ruined my night. That's definitely not it. This is going to live rent-free in my head all night. And I'm going to have to listen to it a million times. I don't remember any of the melodies. <laughs> okay, this is fun, man. I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, let me know what I got to watch next. Drop me a line down below. Come hang out on Discord. All that fun stuff. We'll see you all again soon.